Shalom. All praises due to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rukah, Kadash. And uh, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Please and blessings to the hopeful elect out here teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right. It's Todd the Yop Jim, that's Boston. And uh, I'm just going to talk briefly about the chip coming. All right. Karagma, so to speak. And uh, start at uh, Revelation 13. In 13, it says, And he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. All right. That's talking about the so-called white man. That's what he did with those uh, those bombs. Okay. And uh, Nagasaki, Hiroshima. Okay. And it says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. All right. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. All right. So you, the way that you uh, would do that is by taking in the philosophies of this uh, current system. Okay. Which they uh, they have, you know, promoted throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, that's how they make the 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 beast that was wounded live again. You have to take on that way that system of the Roman society all over again. All right, and that's what these people have done. But in Revelations 13 and 15, it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay? And that's what uh, they currently got going on with this uh, medical tyranny. All right? In the ways of, uh, you know, uh, uh, these karagmas going out. Okay. That's how they're gonna give life. They're gonna they're gonna want you to uh bow down. Okay. And that's what you're doing when you're taking on these uh brain implants and these uh karagmas in your hands. Okay. That's how that's how you're giving life onto the image of the beast. You're swearing yourself to it. All right. So you're going to give your life for that way of that Roman world that was wounded. And you're going to live in it forever through this, uh, these devices that they got. Okay. It says, Revelation 13 and 16, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right? With that being said, I'm gonna play this quick little clip. From launching SpaceX rockets to finding, quote, solace on his porcelain throne. Among his many contributions, Musk is also breaking ground in neurotechnology. He co-founded Neuralink, a company that says it has already successfully implanted chips in a pig and monkeys that create a man-made link between the mind and movement. During a recent interview, Musk said his brain interface technology company hopes to start implanting its microchips in humans next year. Musk said we hope to have this in our first humans, which will be people that have severe spinal cord injuries. According to Neuralink's website, for now, the technology... There you have it, all right? By speaking those words, this is going to make people run out there and also uh, uh, implant themselves, all right? And then you see Swedes opting to embed karagma in hand to comply with proof of participation, Okay. It says some Swedes are reportedly voluntarily embedding the, you know what, information in microchips that have been inserted under their skin. This comes amid the incitement of new rules in Sweden requiring people to show 
poof, a double, you know what, when attending large events, and that's what's uh, currently about to happen here in uh, Boston, Massachusetts, and you see it happening in New York and in um, California and various other uh, states in the Americas of Babylon the Great, all right? And that just goes back to the next step, you know, which is, uh, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the name of the, the beast or the number of his name, right? And that's what those chips are going to be embedded with. You're going to become a product, okay, of Babylon the Great or the beast system, all right? That's how you're going to give life onto the image of the beast. You're going to become a product of them, well, of it, because it's a such thing called the IoT, the Internet of Things, and you will be imprinted in that system, okay? It says, here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six, so six, 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 and that's all people that, uh, that have become the product of the beast system, all right? That's what we're about to uh, embark upon, right? And with uh, Elon Musk, you know, he's just going back to the God complex of thinking that he's uh, the most high in his son when you read Obadiah, okay? That's why these people are going to be Obadiah 1 and 18, okay? And let's find out. Because in the end, this is what it's going to be, okay? See? Doom for worshippers of the beast. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, his ways, okay? Want to be like him, okay? And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. All right? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay, and the smoke of their torment ascending up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. Okay, so you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to uh, uh, come into the kingdom of heaven, right? With that that goddamn um, mark in you and that's what you're going to be you're going to be burned up thus said the holy scriptures so whatever you do don't 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 believe men like it says in isaiah 2 and 22 because these men are uh are doomed for the day of reckoning okay as it is read in this uh scripture but I'm just going to get the bottom part of it because they know that those missiles are coming. All right. They know what's about to happen. And they lead the whole uh, uh, world to their destruction with this brain implant in this uh, karagma. All right. It says, cease ye from men. This is Isaiah 2 and 22, whose breath is in his nostril for where in is he to be accounted of and you know that man that came up with this these two things are of satan and to be he's going to be accounted <laughs> in those fires man and anybody that's uh attaching themselves to the beast system that's where you're going to end up at okay so i just wanted to bring that out real quick and uh 
all praises due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Shalom, Abad Baba.